I thought he was good tonight when he needed to be, especially on the penalty kill. Uh, and we gave up a, not a lot, but a couple of outnumbered rushes where um, when pucks did get to him, they stopped to him. And the ones that didn't, he put in good areas where there weren't second and third opportunities. And uh, we need him to be that type of goaltender for us to move on. The uh, seemed like a good, a big turning point was the was the five on three penalty kill there. You have a 90 seconds to kill off there and build momentum and get a goal shortly thereafter. But what did you think went well on that kill? What what made it so effective? Do you think? Well, just a commitment. You know, uh, 15 I thought really showed his true colors as far as a leader and block our defensive core, blocking shots, getting complete clears all the way down to the other end. And especially when it's a five on three and it's in the second period where you've got the long changes and you can get caught. Um, I just thought that that group, and more often than not, if, if you get a five on three scored against you, I've just found that those games are hard to win. And if you can kill a five on three, especially one like that, I thought we did get some momentum off that and allowed us to get that next goal. Mike, your defensive core continues to produce offensively. Tonight it was Sean Flanagan's turn to goal and a couple assists. What's What's been special about your D this year um, with the, the way they've been contributing offensively? Uh, you know what? I think they've just, they're playing with some confidence. And they, nowadays in the game today, you need your defensive core to, to help you score offensively, whether that's distributing a puck to somebody that's open or whether it's them actually scoring a goal. And, uh, you know, 11 would be the first one. Flanagan would be the first one to tell you that that doesn't go in without 17 taking eyes away. Um, so there's a lot of people that were involved in that goal, but he gets uh, he, he ends up getting the goal because some guys did some dirty work. And then Parker Toomey with a couple of goals tonight, including the game winner. He, he, he continues to score clutch goals for you. What's... Uh, uh, the transition been like over the course of the season as Parker seems to be picking up his offense here in the second half of the season? Just a maturation away from the puck, too. I know the, the offense is coming, but I think it's because he's not cheating it on the other end. He, he, he's playing more of an honest game. And the one thing, you know, he's an incredible competitor. He, he, whether it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or even you see like tonight, he, he loves to go play the game of hockey. Um, he's confident. He likes to shoot a puck, which... Nowadays, uh, it's hard to get guys to want to do that. Um, but um, he, he's had a real good stretch here over the last three, four weeks, as you've brought up, and we need him to continue that. The, having him, you talk about him being a competitor, was that kind of indicative of what happened on, on his second goal tonight? I mean, he gets a, he gets a, a good scoring chance, a pretty good save, and then he kind of works to get the puck back and, and finally scores. Yeah, I mean, in the first one, too, he shoots a puck, it gets blocked, he stays on it, grabs a rebound, and finishes, and uh, both those goals. You know, I thought that line, Nelson, Coda, and him, uh, and again, they played a pretty honest game from our end out, and they were rewarded offensively, but I thought they were hard.